here with Natasha. She is one of the filmmakers in VHS 85. Uh, so as one of the newbies to the scene, I must ask, uh, how were you uh, initiated into the process? <laughs> well, first of all, I don't care about all that other get stuff. right into it, bitch. Right. What are you doing exactly. here? How are you here with these deviants? Uh, Yes, these, these tricky characters. Um, yeah, I mean, it goes without saying, these are legendary filmmakers. I'm a huge fan of all of these filmmakers, so it's very, very exciting. Um, yeah, so so I knew these guys for a while. They were sort of familiar with my work, and uh, I, had, I had worked with Shudder a few times previously. Um, yeah, Shudder, Shudder's awesome. We love Shudder. Um, so they basically pitched the idea. They said, hey, would you have something that you'd like to sort of explore? And uh, funny enough, the, my writing partner on this project, Zoe Cooper, and I had been toying around with an idea, but we weren't quite cracking it. Uh, and they told us, oh, it's going to be 1985. And that's when all the pieces sort of started clicking together in a really exciting way. Um, and so, yeah, I guess, I don't know. I'm just happy to be here. <laughs> I was not around in 1985. Exactly. Well, this is what's really interesting. No, I am post 1985, not by a lot. <laughs> not by a lot. Yeah, exactly. We're Kobe generation. Yeah. No, I'm not not too past 85. You know, I still I know about like Wishbone and like stuff like that. Cad yes, Cabbage Patch Kids, Polly Pocket, all of that stuff. So, yeah, I think what's really fun is it is this sort of mystical idea of like what is 1985, and so you see these five stories five different interpretations, five different areas of interest uh, through this genre lens, and so I think it's it's diverse. Awesome, awesome. Last question. Thank yeah. you so much, Natasha. Yeah. It. What do you bring to the table that other VHS fans don't see before? Oh, man. Um, Who are you, woman? They're going to be asking all that questions when they see this it gets funky. It gets really funky. I think, uh, you know, I grew up uh, around sort of the black box theater scene okay. in New York City. Sure. And so my piece, um, our piece really is interested in that scene, okay. uh, which is a very exciting and I think a untapped yeah, big time. place yeah. to explore. Um, so I think that'll be a lot of fun. It kind of has a cyberpunk edge. And found footage. Here we go. Yeah. Sort of performance, performance art is what I was talking about. found footage yep. with snapping and stockings and all that. It's, it's not that sexy, I promise. <laughs> so it's bloody. It's, okay. It gets bloody we'll in its own way. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So thank, you so thank you so much. Here. Pleasure. Enjoy the movie. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. You're welcome. I like that evil smell. She gets it from her movie. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. To be fair, mm -hmm. I don't not. <laughs> <laughs>